The stock markets ended a brutal week on a positive note. The Dow rallied almost 2,000 points today, about half of that coming as the president spoke in the final hour of trading. By the closing bell, it was up more than 9 percent. But millions of Americans are starting to feel the pinch of lost work hours, declining sales and slumping consumer confidence. Here is CBS News's business analyst, Jill Schlesinger. The market rebounded, but it may take more than the president declaring a national emergency to calm nerves. Stocks were down nearly 10 percent on the week as investors remain on guard. The reason is we just don't have a handle on the shape of the economy. New unemployment claims were down from a week ago, but they're expected to jump when fresh numbers come out next week. Hardest hit, the airline industry, where layoffs are likely due to the unprecedented fall off in demand. Hotel occupancy in tourist-rich San Francisco is off by as much as 60 percent this month. But it's millions of workers in the service industry, like waiters and hotel staff, that could be hit the hardest. Recent losses on Wall Street could spread fear into the larger economy. There is a very tight link between what's happening in the markets and what happens in the economy. People look at their 401k statements. They spend less, they save more, and there's less demand uh, in the economy. And that's what worries small business owners and lower wage workers who are going to need the details of that financial assistance from the government to weather what's likely to be a pretty tough few months ahead. Nora? Jill, thank you.